Hey guys, here's a quick video on how I set up my NASA M Light flight control in my DJI 450 quadcopter. Right now I have her set up at 6 minutes. Uh, that's just my preference. I fly mainly um, 4S batteries, 22 to 2650 milliamps. And it gives me a good 9 minutes, but I like to have a little margin. Uh, when carrying GoPro and FPV stuff, uh, six minutes is you know pretty good enough for getting some good flight footage. So let's begin. DJI 450, select that, and this menu will let me just go through this real quick. The trigger is my throttle switch. When I bring the throttle up. The timer starts, and this trigger B is when, tro when the throttle is at the, its lowest position or zero, the timer will pause. And you can always rewind the video or pause to see all the settings if I'm going too fast. Page 3, nothing there. Page 4 is my Expo and dual rates. I think I have it backwards because H is supposed to be high. Yep. But I like the switches away from me. Because when you turn it on, all the switches have to be away from you anyway. So I just like it there. That's my preference. So you can do however you like to set it up. Whatever makes you happy. Alright, here's the mixer. Channel 1 obviously is throttle. And you can see these settings on page 15. Yes, page 15 of your uh, NASA assist uh, NASA M Light manual. You can download that for free on uh, DJI. Oops, sorry about that. Got sorry about the lighting. That's all I have. Not a professional production here. So uh, let's see. Aileron channel 2, elevator channel 3, rudder channel 4. Channel 5 is my P3 switch and what that does is adjust my attitude gain during flight and that's my P3 switch right there. So I can always, you know, if I want to kind of a docile flying, I just turn it down just a little bit, but mainly I have it right in the center. If I want a little bit more aggressive, more response to my sticks, I turn it up just a little bit. But I normally just leave it on the center. I'm happy with that. But you can do whatever you want. Alright. Channel 6 is my gear switch. And what that does is set up my home lock or course lock. And right now, I just have it on home lock. Uh, but it only works if you have a GPS. So uh, don't even bother with this if you don't have a GPS, just leave it off or change it to P1. And P1 will be this knob right here. And you can set it up to uh, adjust your gains on your rolling pitch if you wish. And you can play with that in your autopilot settings in the computer. So you'll see as you turn the knob, the numbers or percentages will change. It's kind of neat. But again, that only works with uh, when you have a GPS, so uh, just make sure you're doing it correctly. And it's negative 85, so when I flip the gear switch up, boom, that's my home lock. It's kind of neat. So if you're flying and uh, let's say you're you know, showing off to your friends at the flying club or your buddies, at the local park, uh, that's kind of a neat feature. So if you go a little bit too far, you don't know your orientation, flip that switch, and when you do your elevator aileron, back is back, this goes to where you first started, but make sure if you do have a GPS, wait until the green light is on and no red blinking, and that will be telling you that you have a solid GPS position and if you pay special attention to it when it first starts up it will actually blink really fast after it locks into a satellite or six satellites and that's when you know home lock is set up and you can always go to the manual 
and read all about Homelock and uh, hopefully you'll understand it. I have to go through it a couple times because I'm a little slow. But anyway, that's how you set it up. Okay, now channel 7 is your three position switch. ID 0, 1, and 2. That's this little guy right here. That's up, middle, down. Middle, up, and that's all it is. So just make sure you change the values to these numbers and you'll be set. You might have to change it to a different percentage, uh, but that, how you get in there is by pressing the menu button. And at first, you may not see those because I already put them in there. That's why it looks like that. Uh, you can add it, and I forget how, but just press the menu button, and I believe once you get in there, it will add a line. And if the lines are a little bit different, just go ahead and adjust them by going to the menu button. And I did a lot of trial and error on this, so I'm pretty sure you're going to have to as well. And I don't remember the exact steps, but here are my settings. Scrolling down. And do not delete the menu button because that will delete what you just did. Once you're done, press the exit button and go to the next one. Same thing, menu. And scroll down, change those values just like here. Okay, done. Exit. 70% on the bottom switch. Same thing. That's pretty much it. Alright, now let's go to the next page. Page 6. Limits. Didn't touch anything there. No worries. Reverse. It's all normal. Curves. Didn't touch it. Okay. Page 9, custom switches. Just make sure you set them up just like this. Page 10, okay, safety switches. Now, this is where you need to make sure, be positive, that you set up your FR Sky module to the fail safe position. And how you do that, uh, read the manual. If you don't like reading the manual, I'll explain to you anyway. Very easy. Uh, all you have to do is turn on your transmitter, then turn on the receiver. Once everything is set, put your throttle switch to the middle position, and then go over to your receiver, and in your receiver there will be a little black button. Press it very briefly, and you will hear a beep in your transmitter, this transmitter, and that's the failsafe. It's set up. And once you're done, bring the throttle down, go back to your safety switches here, adjust it to 46. This is my failsafe, manual failsafe switch, which is the throttle hold. Flip it up, and that is manual failsafe. That's all there is to it. So, uh, that is when you, let's say for example, you're at the flying club, you're showing off to your buddies, you're getting too far, and... Uh, you don't know which orientation you're facing, you can hit that fail safe button, okay? Flip it up, it will come back to you. It will hover at 20 meters above the ground and it will go back to you. So you could pretend you didn't get lost or didn't lose orientation and your buddies will be very impressed. Okay. And also, just make sure you have this number. It might not be 46 for you, but I had to get it as close to 50 as much as possible so that the blue light will turn on to fail safe. The other thing too is when you turn the switch off, this switch off, your fail safe button in the computer will also turn blue. If it doesn't, that means you did not set your fail safe in your receiver correctly. So go over the manual, read over it carefully and it's really easy. Page 11, templates, I didn't touch that, so that's pretty much it. Let's go back out, and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me a line, comments, let me know, 
and subscribe. Thanks.